Hi. How are you? Good. What are you What are you doing, by the way? <laughs> you don't have an accent. Are you Are you American? No. So you were born and raised in Vienna. How would you describe Viennese people? I have a lot of judgments. I find them to be a little grumpy and a little bit, I want to say dead inside. <laughs> but I think whatever you see is reflecting something in you. So it's my own thing. <laughs> you don't seem dead inside to me though. I think everybody's a little dead inside. If we were really alive, the world would be very different. Do you ever feel like you don't fit in? And Vienna? I do. What's that like? Not fun. Yeah, it's really isolating. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure. But you're okay with it? I wouldn't really say I know anything else. It's been life here. I think what it really takes is to have good connections, to feel really held in, in community. I don't think this is one of our strengths. Community? Yeah. Gosh, that sucks. <laughs> Why do you think that community isn't super strong for our people in Vienna. I think there's a lot of unhealed things from World War II, mistrust and isolation still. Everybody has to do their thing by themselves mm. and you have to do it right. And if you don't do it right, it's kind of dangerous and scary. And that creates a lack of spontaneity, a lack of fun, a lack of movement and... Life. Life. <laughs> Things could be so different. If we actually just got together as people and we dropped some of the structures in our heads. Why do you think World War II affected Austria so much? Because it wasn't a war on the level of killing only. It wasn't like a physical war. Its real objective was to mess with your mind. <laughs> And I think that probably the wars before that, they were... There was a conviction that you were right and you had to kill, you had to do this action, you had to kill this person. Whereas this one, people lost their minds, like they went mad. And this instability, I think, is what is passed on. And that's why you have to create this rigidity to make up for it, because actually underneath you know, there's a little bit of madness. So what do you do? You set up some walls and pretend it's not there? That would make sense for me. There's so much. I mean, I, I, I cannot imagine what it must have been like to be alive at that time. But actually, that is the destruction of the community, the destruction of, of trust between people, being able to open and be safe in that. I really think that that is the medicine to create spaces for people to come together and to be with their feelings and their realities. And that's kind of what I do with, with yoga. It's not about like some super spiritual thing. It's kind of just breath as life, connecting that to just what we feel together. And I think that's really healing.